Well folks, it's Phil here. We're just having a bit of fun in the dozer. I'll just show you a bit. I'll come up the walkway here. So you can see there, going back about 50 metres, 80 metres there. I've ripped on that side and same on this side so I'll gather the dirt from both sides so it's a nice flat area not a big big divot so got to go back a fair way to do that with these big gullies and yeah it's come up really well up there um, so yeah today I've just been stuck here I've ripped and we just got back into it after uh, 50 mil of rain uh, about four days ago so it's uh, yeah not too bad going now it's a bit hard to get perspective of the depth of the gully that we're pushing yeah so we just got probably another 200 meters to go down there so this is the next contour that I've got to build uh, through this gully here and back over into the main yeah, that one uh, filled in that old contour that went nowhere. And going to continue this one. And then there's another one down below this. So, yeah, we get there. I'll uh, just go and put this down over here. If I don't fall over. Yeah, that's at, at uh, ground level there.
wobbling around. Anyway, well that's that's the focus. So I'll just screw these up a bit if you aren't already. Um, so my job for today is to try and put this steering wheel. We've got another one, aftermarket one, to replace the original. Now that's had a few lives and it's really not it's almost getting dangerous. They weren't real they weren't real flash anyway. They could break an arm or a wrist these old girls. I think the old steering box might need a bit of a might be something I can do here. Ooh, that is that's not good is it? Anyway, righto. Let's see how we go with that. It's um few mad storms around. Um this is the paddock where we the can canola was obviously and um, I think Phil's just put in a waterway or a um, contour bank there and wiped this one out just here leveled that one out that was an old original and then made made this one below it brought that one in and then made got the main one going there so and then filled in that that gully there and that will then There'll be another bank going below that and funnel that water right around to the main waterway there and then that'll help enormously with the uh, management of the water and um, bring some of the paddock sizes uh, up a bit so they're not so fiddly um, and that's the idea but anyway we'll see how we go with this little uh, job. Monday the 4th, I'm stuck here by myself with the house or the grasshopper as we call it, um, doing 600 hectares. So trying to get it done in three days, we'll see how we go. Um, we've currently got Phil on Tiny 1, he's doing a bit, a bit of contour work so we might actually drive past him a couple of times um, today. And JD's just helping me get set up, then he's going to go on the rock picker. We've got Johnny on the... Um, cultivator and the Kelly chains so trying to just um, break up the straw on that so we can get the rock picker through on the country that was organic last year or well, this year it was organic but we're pulling it out it's going to just be uh, just normal farming from now on so uh, and I think Robbo's at the south lease block around that area doing something doing a bit on the greater so everyone's flat out it's funny harvest is done but it seems like it's always busier after harvest so we had a very cruisy harvest considering we didn't really get stopped for rain and just got stuck in no breakdowns really and um yeah it was pretty cruisy because you just got one goal but now we're back to having five different goals so we'll see how we go so it should theoretically oh thinks i'm going backwards does that sometimes so once we get a bit of speed up Tells me I'm doing the right rate. We've got spray coming out. And basically I sit here all day and bounce around. So that's just, that's just life. Oh, I'm so thankful the air conditioning works well in here. I think I last Last did the air conditioning in this like I think it was even back when Brad was um was using this for his contracting rig so that'd be like six no that would that'd be before yeah that'd be over ten years ago so it's still going strong for the minute <laughs> so let's reset our tank volumes our field areas. 
She's old school this one, but it does the job. And we should be right to go. We've done about 240 hectares. So we're not quite halfway yet. We've got a big mob of kangaroos over there. I don't think you guys will see it. But we'll find out. If they jump out in front of me, I'll get grab the camera. Here we go, we're chasing them through the scrub here. I don't know if I can catch them. It'd be very embarrassing to uh, be trying to get close to the kangaroos for you guys out there and I end up in a ditch or something terrible happens. I don't think I would be the popular one. So the poor old D11, tiny one, Struggles a bit when it gets to about 35 degrees. Um, yeah, just hard to keep it cool. So yeah, Phil's just knocked off on that. Um, so he's just taken over on the houseum or the grasshopper. And what I'm doing is there's been a little bit of skullduggery happening in the area. So I think that's the best way to put it. Um, so I'm gonna go and just double check our, our security system and yeah, check everything's uh, honky dory there so um yeah that's what i'll be doing this afternoon so unfortunately i can't take you with me because um yeah you just never know sometimes you never know who's watching but i don't i think a lot of the skullduggery that's happening is uh just opportunistic so it's basically people being where they shouldn't be um and just seeing things that i think how do you put it they think they could do with them more than than other people so um, that's what it sort of seems like at the minute but yeah we'll just double, make sure our security systems up to scratch make sure everything's working as it should um, and then um, yeah test it and then we know we're sort of set if something does happen so anyway that's what I'll be doing but we will catch you tomorrow I'd say when we hopefully we can finish off uh, the spraying here at the development block um, so last night I ended up spraying, the conditions were good, um, we still had a good breeze and I was spraying until about 9.30, I did another load after, um, yeah Phil took over for a bit then I did another load after that. Um, I've just done two loads this morning and about to start the third load um, but I've got a duck to town and Phil's, again the dozer's getting a bit warm, it's already probably 30, oh, I don't know, it's getting pretty hot out here so 30 something degrees and um, the dozer's getting warm. The air conditioner's playing up in the dozer. That's tiny one. And um, yeah, so Phil's just gonna, um, yeah, knock off that in about half an hour, come back and put out this load of spray, this last load of spray. So that's the plan there. I've just filled it all up, ready to go. And yeah, then I'll come back this afternoon when I get back from town and I'll have a look at the air conditioning on the D11. So um, just see what I find there. Well, I'm back and what I'm doing, is we now have the D11 and the Steiger with air conditioning problems so I'm gonna get cracking on that just see what I can find um, yeah whether if it's low on gas I might be able to find a leak or something and then yeah then put gas in it and get it going or yeah I just have to have to see what I find um, the Steiger I've never touched the air conditioning on that so I don't know what to expect there but it is hot outside that's why I'm doing the video in my ute the ute air conditioning is working fine um, but yeah it's about 40 degrees celsius so that's um that's yeah over 100 degrees fahrenheit so it's just very scorching out there so not very much cloud so just sunlight burning um so i gotta get the gas uh, phil brought it this morning and he brought it to the dozer so I've got to pick that up I'll go to the Steiger have a look at that and then I'll come back to the dozer so there's the big old behemoth definitely makes the 9G here look very small 
Look, we got the steering wheel dad put on. Right, let's go find Johnny. Right, I hope it's nothing major. Really don't feel like working on a hot engine and a 40 degree day. Found my glasses too, so that's good. Woo! It's a bit of heat coming off the engine. Yeah, there is. Like it's cool. Yeah, but that's, it's, it's, that's not, not as it should be. It, it comes and goes too, like sometimes you'll have not, like it's yeah. nothing. Yeah. It's like sauna. Right, what's the, unless the, um, there's the pipe there. The engine tap's been sitting on about 80. It's definitely, I'm not overly familiar with these ones, whether they use a, um, a I don't, I think it'd be a heated tap rather than a blend ore, but I'm yeah. not very familiar with them. But no time like the present to get familiar with them, eh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So uh, chances are it's low on gas. Yeah. Oh, I'll um, I'll see if I can find a leak. Uh, maybe we have to put in the non-regulated gas. Oh, we'll have to see. Just so we can top it up and get it working. Righto, guys. That's a good look, isn't it? I um, yeah, found that. It was low on gas a bit. But yeah, it's just a hot old day. And what happens is I, I just can't get the pressure down on the um, high side. So usually what happens is you have your, um, like your condenser uh, cools down the, well. So I'll try without confusing myself and you. Basically with the air conditioning, the compressor compresses the gas and creates a high pressure gas and then it goes to the condenser which converts it to a high pressure liquid so by dropping the temperature of the of the gas um, by running it through the condenser drops it to a liquid and then the liquid the high pressure liquid goes to usually a TX valve which is basically like a small restriction and then so you've got it converts from a high pressure liquid to a low pressure gas and it's the same effect whenever you spray an aerosol can where you've got high pressure liquid in an aerosol can or your deodorant or whatever and then when you release that it becomes a low pressure gas and it cools down so it becomes cold and basically what it does is then it goes once it's gone through the tax valve and you've got a low pressure gas which is cold it runs through the evaporator which is inside the cab and then the fan blows through the evaporator and you have cold air blowing into your face and then from the evaporator it goes back to the compressor um, as a low pressure gas and then the compressor obviously converts that to a high pressure gas etc etc just keeps cycling so that's the basics of how it functions so if you can't get the temperature down enough or if the pressure is too high at the um, on your high side, um, then it struggles to liquefy the gas and it just doesn't work very well at all. So it really struggles. So, so that's basically what's happened there. So hopefully, um, yeah, we can um, we can get that sorted. I'm not sure where the leak is. I'll probably at some point put a die shot in it um, so we can help maybe find the leak and um, and go from there. But 
uh, at the minute. We're off to the dozer and see what we find there. Back again. Oh. Everything's hot. With this one, we do not have um, ports, test ports for the, or service ports for the aircon outside. They're, um, yeah, kind of under the cab in the hellhole. So that's the lovely, lovely feature of this one. Well, what I'll probably do, I'll pull the floor up. Um, yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll do that because it's the only way to get in there, unfortunately. It's gonna be stinking hot in there. Right, we got that out. Time to get down there. It's good you can get down here at least, but very unpleasant. Woo, everything's hot, hot. So that's the air conditioning compressor there. So we actually put a new one on not long after we bought it. Um, you can see the service ports there. Well, uh, everybody, a um, bit anticlimactic again, like all the videos are lately. But um, looks like we are a bit low on gas. Um, and I think there's a leak. Um, you might have even seen it on the camera down there. I did wonder, but I had a closer look. Looks like from the high side from the compressor, um, yeah, there's just all oil and dirt mixed up going up the pipe. So I think we've got to get a new hose for that. Um, and yeah, then we'll regas it all and it should be should be good. So I'll probably get um, get a new hose, get a new receiver dryer, and um, and it should be good. So I think the hose actually goes um yeah from the compressor it should from the compressor to the condenser so it'll be this one here i reckon um so yeah i'll order one of them hopefully it's all the same and will fit i think this system is genuine so it's going to be easier doing that than pulling the pipe off taking it in getting one made up and bring it out um i did actually go through the process of trying to get the crimpers and everything and that to do them myself but um for whatever reason that hasn't happened so ah uh, yeah anyway we'll just see how we go there so this job will be to be continued well what i might even do i might finish off uh just with a bit of drone footage it is pretty hot so hopefully the drone doesn't overheat but um we can see J jd over there he's on the rock picker um and johnny's on the cultivator so i might even get a couple of shots of that going but um after that we'll uh yeah we'll close the video with that so thanks for watching guys catch you in the next one <laughs>